I'd like you to do, Darren, is to take about a teaspoon or so of this starch and put it over there in that water. All right. Okay, stir it up. Not all will dissolve, but enough will. Okay. Okay. Now, here's some iodine. Take a half a dropper full and put it in there with the starch. Oh, it's turning a blackish color. Yeah, sort of a blue-black. Now, what you've just done is a chemical test. When scientists want to know whether starch is present, they add iodine. If it turns that blue-black color, they know starch is present. Okay. If they know if they know the iodine, but they don't, in, in other words, any time they put the combination of starch and iodine together, they get the blue-black. So you can tell whether something has starch in it or iodine in it. Okay. So now you are going to have to do a similar test. Here are three glasses. One has starch in, one has sugar, and one has salt. And I have the labels around on the back side so you can't see them. So tell me, how are you going to find out? Well, if I put the iodine in a starch container, it'll turn blue-black. Okay, so try the first one over there. Well, it's turning an orange color. Say, uh, iodine color. Yeah, it's sugar. Okay, okay, try the next one. It's orange again. No starch? No starch. That's salt. Okay. okay. So I think this one should be starch. And it should then do what? Turn blue-black. Okay. Yeah, there it goes. Fair enough. It's starch, all right. Now, while that chemical test is useful, it's also the basis for a very spectacular chemical stunt, which I'd like you to do. Come on over here. All right. Here are two glasses, sort of half full of the tube. There's starch and iodine present. So go ahead, mix them, pour them back and forth about three times. Okay. Where's the blue-black color? I said starch it's and iodine there. are present. They no, haven't mixed. No, they certainly, maybe, do you think there was something wrong? Oh, there might have been. Mm -mm, not at all, because what? Oh, there it goes. All of a sudden, the whole thing turned blue-black. Now, the reason for that is the two chemicals that I have in the glass have various kinds of chemicals in them. When you mix them together, the starch and iodine aren't released immediately. It takes a while for a chemical reaction to take place. And you okay. can vary it by changing the temperature or the acidity and make it come out. And you didn't notice it, but I had a stopwatch on it. Sixteen seconds. All right. It's so they're for... reacting to each other, but just gradually? Well, they don't really release all of it until at the end of the 16 seconds, then it's all released at once, and that's why it turned blue-black. Okay. So, over here are those same two solutions. Just in bigger pictures? In bigger pictures, right. I'll start my stopwatch when you mix them together. Mix them once over here like this, and then if you're very careful, at the time when I get to close to 16, if you're pouring like this, what should happen? Uh, it'll turn blue-black. That, the whole stream, and this all at once. All right. You ready? Yep. Okay, I'll start the watch as soon as they hit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen, and... Oh, there it goes. So you now have done probably one of the most famous chemical demonstrations called the clock reaction. You can see why they call it that, can't you? Yep. Happens just like that.